we're going to show you how to make a lava lamp. You can relate this to curriculum areas like gases around us, mixing liquids and irreversible reactions, but actually it's just great fun. To make this lava lamp, Jay, you need some water and some cooking oil. Any old oil will do. I use the cheapest because you need quite a lot. And we're going to make it more attractive by colouring it with some food colouring. This is just red food colouring dissolved in water. What I want you to do, please, is to pour some oil into the water. I suppose about up to, up to there, about three quarters full. You can do this in a jam jar, but I tend to use disposable cups because the washing up's a bit mucky when you've got oil all over the place. You can see that the oil is floating. That, of course, is one of the reasons why oil is a problem. In the Gulf of Mexico, for example, it floats on water. If oil sank, it would be much less of a problem. I'm going to suggest you put a bit more oil in there, just to give the, the uh, further to go. That's great. Now, if you now look at it, you can see you've got a clear water layer at the bottom and yellow oil at the top. The oil floats on the water. To make it more attractive, colour it with that red food colouring. Do you want me to go through a lot yes, of sides? Yes, just, no, just pour it in. You can see that the colouring drops to the bottom. It won't mix with the oil. I should stop there, that's marvellous. So now you've got a red water layer and a yellow oil layer. And the secret ingredient is any effervescent tablet, sterodent, anything that fizzes in water. Break it up into little pieces. So if you break that tablet into about eight, can you see how it drops straight through the oil, oh. but when it hits the water, it dissolves, produces carbon dioxide, which fizzes through the oil, giving you quite a dramatic lava lamp effect.